How was that for a, a magical, mysterious entrance? Because that's what I, that's what I was going for. <coughs> Um, every category of hair product works a little bit differently. You've got hair waxes, which you usually just use a, like a fingertips worth. You got pomades, which you usually use a lot more. And you got things like creams, which are super easy to glide through your hair. However, there's one category that I feel deserves a lot of attention and that's the hair clay category. But I feel like a lot of people kind of dismiss hair clays because hair clays feel a little funny, they feel a little weird. They don't feel like most other hair products out there on the market, especially when it comes to the more heavier traditional clays that exist, such as Hans de Foucault by Claymation, other way, Claymation by Hans de Foucault, or um, Clay Pomade by Baxter of California, which by the way, these traditional heavy clays are a personal favorite of mine. They work really well with my hair type. And there is definitely a learning curve, but if you can get it right, you can be left with some seriously solid results. And speaking on the topic of heavy traditional clays, I'm very excited to be able to announce to you guys an official date for Cavalier Clay, the project that Cameron and Cretney and I have been working on for the hair clay. Is this guy right over here. Launch is officially happening for this guy on May 28th. That's this coming Sunday. It's just a couple days away. And this is not a pre-order, meaning that product is ready to ship out right away. Like I said, traditional heavy hold clays work really well for my hair type, so I'm very happy to be getting this out, and that's exactly what we've drummed up right here for you to uh, go ahead and take a look at. So, with all of that being said, I've got some tips on how you can get the most out of your hair clay. So I'm gonna go ahead, get my hair wet, blow dry it into position, and we're gonna take it from there. Give me a couple seconds. All right guys, let's go ahead and get right into these hair clay tips. First up, don't be afraid to really get in there and break that product down. It's very important to break a hair clay down. Due to the thickness that a lot of clays have, I find that um, pressing that product down with my index finger initially helps that breakdown process. And then really heat that product up in your hands. And I mean like serious, like heat it up, my hands feel feel hot when they're finished. And then when it comes to application, now that I've got it on my hands, because of the thickness, start by just lightly applying kind of all over the place instead of really trying to dig down in there and then repeat repeat this process until your hair is fully covered with that clay unlike a soft product that can just like glide through your hair it's better to layer a clay in sections uh, rather than trying to apply it all at once now this next tip this is my biggest tip. If people decide that they don't like hair clays, it's often because of what I'm about to share right now. When you first apply a hair clay to your hair, uh, there, there can be like this stiffness that you feel and that turns a lot of people off. They're like, I don't want my hair to feel rock hard throughout the day. That's just, I'm not into that kind of thing. Totally understandable, but this is simply the process to having such a stronghold product. Of course, not all stronghold products start off this way, but I have tried numerous clays throughout my life and they, uh, compared to any other product category out there, definitely have a stiffness about them when you first apply that um, if you're not used to, it's a bit surprising. And you're like, oh, what's going on right now? Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, you give it about 15 minutes after you first put it in your hair and that stiffness dies down a lot. Now that's not to say that you can't move your hair around. I mean, product has been in my hair for probably three or four minutes now, and obviously like it's movable, but the that, that comfort level really starts to set in roughly 15 minutes later, and your hair begins to relax just a little. The product kind of starts to actually work into your hair, and uh, the hold factor remains, but um, the uncomfort stiffness feeling uh, fades away. And you're left with a lot of versatility while still having a lot of hold. Boom. Boom shagalaga, la laga la wa. Now this brings me on to my next important tip, and this tip will probably be a make or break for you on whether you like hair clays um, or you don't. Now the stiffness does die down, like I said, but out of any matte finish um, product category out there, you do feel hair clays in your hair throughout the day. And what I mean by that, if you go to like retouch your hair, if you've got a scratch, if you try to put your hair back in place, you're gonna feel that product on your hands. It's not like um, some products out there where it feels like nothing is in your hair, you do feel the density of a clay because again, you know, clays actually have real clayness. Clay is a very dense substance. That density 
is feelable on your fingers. The thing is that that's not really a disadvantage because it is that density and that fact that you can feel it that helps to control thick hair and helps to control hard to control hair really well. The fact that I can feel a clay in my hair does not bother me at all. I've, uh, I've been using clays for a long time now. Uh, it's kind of just like second nature to me, but it's worth you knowing. But again, it is the fact that you can feel it that helps you know or, or is a contributing factor to why it can help style thick hair so well. Uh, and now for the final bit of advice that I can offer you. I remember the very first time that I ever tried a clay, just about three years ago now, um, when I scooped that stuff out and put it in my hair, I was like, there is no way this stuff is washing out of my hair. But that to say, just you guys don't need to worry. Depending on the clay, it'll either wash out with just water or, uh, and more often the case, it'll definitely wash out with just a round of shampoo. All right guys, just like that, now you know how to use a hair clay to its fullest potential. The release date of Cavalier by Blumon is May 28th. This coming Sunday, I said it wrong in the video, so that's why I'm doing this uh, this bit right now. Sunday is four days away. Mark it down in your calendars if you want to check out Cavalier Clay. Uh, also, big props to Cameron Cretney, who had a big part in this as well. Obviously, we worked on this together. I appreciate y'all for checking out this week's video. As per usual, social links are in the description down below. Check out the Bloom on community for that hairstyle advice. Post your pictures, share it with other people. It's, uh, you'll have a fun time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see everybody next time.